folks I'm glad you're all here thank you very much for joining me hope you're enjoying your Thursday afternoon early this morning there by Teleco Plains Tennessee there was a magnitude 1.4 earthquake yeah this was a little earthquake no one said that they felt it even though um, earthquakes are felt over a large area. This earthquake would have been about 10, almost 11 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. So if you are woken up around 2 a.m. today, did you feel this earthquake? Or were you disturbed and not sure what woke you up? I would like to know. This earthquake was not far from the Rampapo Fault. Let me bring it out. I got it drawn out in red here, right there. And there's a lot of faults going through this location. I only have two monitors close to that location. The one on the right is from Murphy, North Carolina. The one on the left is from Georgia, Grassy Mountain. Let me go to the seismic signature. There's the earthquake. It came in a few seconds later on these uh, different monitors. Let me make this one bigger and I'm going to uh, pull this over and extract it. Now this is in fact a harmonic tremor. Okay, which often is depicted when you have magma on the move. I talked about the plates moving and the weakening of the earth magnetic field. Um, so I thought I would show you this magma was able to seep through the linear fractures along the uh, fault, the Rampapo Fault, during the late Jurassic and early Jurassic, uh, producing episodic flooding basalt responsible for the creation of the Wachung Mountains. The Wachung Mountains have been divided up into two sections. We got the one area in the south called the first Wachung mountains and then there's an area up over here towards the Hudson Bay called the second Wachung mountains and over here um, I guess you could probably follow the uh, movement the fault lines through here and this is where that 1.7 um, earthquake occurred early this morning History does have a way of repeating itself. We know that the North American plate is slowly moving, uh, going west, southwest. And another thing, let me bring this up. I often wonder why when the seismic signature is being recorded at the different sites, I downloaded two different sites, why the data is not being allowed to the public. You can see here we got a lot of movement and there's earthquakes, but look what happens when I click on it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's the same. Let me bring this over to both sites. Now look over here. This is about the same time when the seismic signature started showing up there for the Georgia monitor. No data available. I can just pull it all the way down. No data available. It did end, let's see, somewhere in there. Look at that. Okay, let me go to the other website. And we'll find where it ended. Let's see, somewhere in there. Okay, we're, I'm looking at the time here. Okay, right there. 12.59, this one ended... Um, uh, let me pull it down, pull it over. 1348. Look at that seismic signature. Okay. And it ended. Okay. Um, 1400 universal time. Why? I like to know why. I'm going to go to this one because this one, I'll make it larger, was showing 
the increase in um, activity. Where did it end at? All right. Somewhere. Let me go down a little bit. Go back to 13 or 14. I think it's over here. Yeah, 13. <sighs> Sorry about that. 1359. Okay. See, this is the wavy movement. I talked about this in my Yellowstone video. Um, how it was indication of pressure. Magma ascending, rising. And... Okay, can I go there? Yeah, look at that. I'm going to make that bigger. Look at that. There's the spectrogram. Yeah, very concerning. Let's bring this over. You can see the line of melt. And up a little bit higher. Yeah, look at that. I haven't done a report for the East Coast in a while. Um, I, I depend. I, I really shouldn't. I depend on USGS. Um, these monitors are, uh, I believe, controlled by um, Tennessee. Let me show you. Here it says SE in cooperation with SE, which is the Memphis, Tennessee Education Seismic Center. All right, so here we have the University of Memphis. This is that earthquake, which is a 1.4, they're saying. And a 2.2 U.S. Oh, that was on the second. I was going to say USGS isn't showing that, but um, that was on the second. So going back to the uh, uh, website here, the one that's listed for North Carolina before it went offline. Yeah, I would really like to see what was going on down here. Let me go to the other monitor. This here is North Carolina. See the squiggly lines right here? And let me pull it over. None of this is working. Not working. I don't know why. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I think. <laughs> Myself, I think they just don't want us to know what's going on. This is where it ended there for uh, North Carolina. You can see probably heated water, a little bit col lighter color. Um, but down farther, yeah, there's probably two earthquakes, probably one right there and one there. Let me go back to my other live stream view. So here we have the live stream view. I got an earthquake that's coming in for Grassy Mountain, Georgia. I'm going to extract that. There it is right there. Let me see if I can make that bigger. Okay, let me pull it over. Zoom in. Make it larger, as large as I can. Okay. All right, that's as large as I can make it. And that earthquake is just now coming in, so they're probably not reporting it. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I would say it's fault movement, but yeah, there is some in there, just a few, not a lot, with rounded tops, example, right there. All right, I removed the other ones that I had for Yellowstone, so this was what was going on when they shut it off. Yeah, let me, that almost looks like, um, let me extract that. All right, let me pull it over. I was going to say it almost looked like the comb, like low frequency um, earthquakes. We got two earthquakes over here. I'll extract that one. There's that one. And I'll extract this one. Let's see. Right there. All right, so this is what it's currently showing. Grassy Mountain is the most distinct, but it also shows up there at Murphy, North Carolina. Yeah. And then we got some more right there. I'll extract that one. Okay. That one. Yeah, you can see we got another one there, another one there, and another one there. Because it didn't show up on the other monitor for the smaller ones, it's within the North Carolina location. So why would the data be coming in on the monitors but not available for the public? 
If you have any thoughts or comments, put it down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you.